Oh, do you smell something, Carson? Oh, Percy, what is that? Oh, uh, I believe that's Mr. Frescura. I let him use the loo. Oh, I should probably go make sure he's okay. Yeah, let's let's get out of here, Carson. Last stop, Quaint Street. I love Quaint Street. That one storefront is always different. That door over there is marked 72, Carson. And that must be Rick Hutton getting his mail. Let's stalk him. Hi there, mind if we take a few photos? Coo, that's a clever little thingamabob you've got there. Takes photos and all, does it? Can I have a look? Oh, hell no, bitch! Hands off my Travis! Suit yourself. You don't have to worry about me breaking it, though. I've paid my way through school, working on all sorts of computers. What you got there? Some alibi-ruining mail? Rifka is posting a note to the post office, asking them to hold his mail for two months. You know, if I were him, I wouldn't be coming back. I would skip town completely and, like, go to Mexico. Like, in two months, they're not going to be looking for him anymore. Rick's mail includes two magazines on computer software and a newsletter called Programmer's Helper. Hmm... Okay, now for some reason, I always manage to screw this one up and never get the right clues. I think we can unmask our computerized Robin Hood. Pick the clues that best back up our suspicions. Oh, I don't even know what clues they are. <laughs> I'm so dumb. It's probably because I'm a woman. Okay, modem. Maybe I don't need any clues about Rick Hutton. Oh, I swear I always get this one wrong. It takes me like five tries. It's so embarrassing. I don't even know. I don't think these are right. Oh, okay. Phew. I don't know, when I was 10, it would take me like 11 tries to get this one right. I guess I'm just smarter now. You got it! <laughs> That's my favorite line. Rick Hutton is the hacker who tampered with the bank accounts. Mr. Henley, the computer expert at London University, told us that the tampering definitely came from one of the five accounts that received the money. He also said that the person who did the tampering must have been an expert hacker, someone who cracks computer codes for fun. We interviewed all five of the suspects. Mrs. Plum called the bank to tell them of the error in her account. The real hacker wouldn't have done that, or it would have given him away. Plus, I mean, look at Mrs. Plum. Does she really look like she knows how to hack computers? Give me a break. Mr. Klump makes computerized, computerized toys, but he's completely incompetent 
and none of his toys ever seem to do what they're told. Ivy Brissett, Uncle's ba Uncle Basil's friend, was all set to spend the money she found in her account. <laughs> like three hours later, oh shit, there's money here, I'ma book me a trip. She was having a tough time figuring out her new laptop. The bank's complicated security codes would have been impossible for her because she's dumb as a rock and totally obnoxious. Robin Banks certainly seemed the type, except that he's been on a cruise for the last week where no phones with modem access were available, so he couldn't have connected with the bank's software and done the tampering. Plus, look at him. He looks so friendly. The only suspect who had the skill and the opportunity to break into the bank's database was Rick Hutton. And, I mean, he just looks like a sketchball, so that was no surprise there. Look, Jennifer's got all the cookies and Jake has nothing. Computer Age Hacker Unmasked by Eagle Eyes London Trust Bank today announced the capture of a computer hacker who stole 100,000 pounds cash from the Rich Rotters Cash Club charity for sick children. Oh, it does say what they are. Okay. Uh, the self-styled Robin Hood thought he could cover up his crime by dividing his booty amongst four other bank clients, but he didn't count on Carson Drew's cleverness. Nancy would be so proud of her dad. Hey, speaking of Nancy, I bet she doesn't even know that Carson's over in England. He's been gone for, like, a month, and she comes home every night. She's like, I wonder where Dad is. I haven't seen him in a really long time. Like, he completely forgot to tell her. Uh, Carson sorted out the, the only suspect, only one suspect fit the culprit's profile, and, when questioned, that suspect confessed. I would have loved to have spent the money myself, said Ivy Brissett, queen of douchebags, who received some of the illegally transferred funds. But I'm glad to see it'll go to a good cause. Two very tired kid detectives. What the hell did you do, Jake? You sat in the garret all day and listened to Pink Floyd. Stupid Jake. 